Okay, the grand final of the I'm not a cow cup is gonna start here with Riolu, Heavy, Aona, and Tom. The only difference now is that we are playing 121 points instead of 100 points. First place goes away with 50 euros. Second place gets 30 euros. Third and fourth place will receive 10 euros. Also to note is that this is the first edition of the I'm not a cow cup. And these four finalists will not be allowed to participate in the next editions of the I'm not a cow cup. So this is their only chance of getting some monies. And Riolu is going to get the first 10 pointer here. Aona in second place, Tom in third, and Kebby in last place. Didn't get a good start. And will be in a bottom position. Let's go with the next time. Oh, Kebby with a tight jump. It is Riolu with the better landing here, though. Great transitions for him. And it will be Riolu getting another 10. Kebby in second. Pom in third. And Iona in last. Here we go. Riolu is looking to go for the clean sweep already. What is he doing in the start differently compared to the other players? Okay. He goes for a different trajectory and Kebby is stumbling all over the place right now. But it is Tom now in first place. Tom gets the 10-pointer. Aona in second. Aona consistently getting uh, good placings right now. Riolu now in third place. So it's not a clean sweep that we're going to see. However, his lead is still quite massive after only three rounds being played. The, the next maps will be quite interesting. Obviously, great landing there by Kebby. Will he be able to uh, make the jump here? No, he collides with the with the nip nip, but remains in first place. Riolu goes for a very inside line, and Riolu actually snipes the first place away from Kebby there. Wow, that was a very tight line. But it is Riolu getting the ten. Aona now in last place. And uh, ties up the score with Kebby on the scoreboard as we go into the next map. We have uh, Dark Short number five. Here we go. One warm up once again. That is a mistake oh this could be a nice trajectory i mean a nice map for tom it is quite uh quite technical and there you go 23 seconds quite a short map here let's see tom sitting at 22 points in second place, Riolu already has a 12 point advantage. Riolu with a great start, gets so much more momentum. Aona with a no slide. I caught that with my right eye. Oh, but the ending can decide a lot here. Riolu goes for the inside line. Kebby could potentially snipe it away with a nice flip, but it is gonna be Riolu with five thousands of a second between Riolu getting first and Kebby getting second here so Riolu will extend his lead really really nice that is almost a 20 almost a 20 point lead for uh, Riolu 
So he is putting himself in a very comfortable place. Good line by Tom here. Takes that first position away. But now the ending can uh, can be pretty decisive. As we have Riolo and Kebby steamrolling to the finish line. But it is going to be... Kebby with the too low jump has to respawn. And Tom will get the 10 points. Riolo in second place with 6. Iona getting third. And Kebby in last. Here we go. Kebby is having some uh, struggle on this particular map. Let's see if he could get a 10 pointer right now. Gets a very nice tight line. Ooh, barely getting the drift. Riolo now looking to get the 10 points, but it is Kebby who snipes him now. Boontje komt om zijn loontje. And it is uh, Kebby showing who has the biggest ears in this uh matchup right now 56 points for riolu cabby with the 40 points and we are now in the final round as cabby makes a huge blunder Iona looking to get his first 10 points on this map. But it is a battle between himself and Tom. Tom with a much better line. Riolo coming up for the inside line risk. But it remains the same. Tom almost stumbles in the finish line. But uh, he will get the 10 points. Iona in second place. Riolo in third. And Kebby in last. So, very nice numbers here. All across the board. 60 points for Riolu. 50 points for Tom. 40 points for Kebby. And 34 points for Ayona. We have Dirt. And Dirt should give Riolu the uh, upper hand here. But of course, all of these guys are... Uh, Able to drive dirt. Also, there is no music on uh, this one. Massive jump here. And Riolo is approaching the end. Which is pretty funny. But he can clear the bubble. Let's see if Kebby is able to clear the bubble. No, Kebby is definitely not able to clear the bubble here. And uh, yeah, the ending can be uh, pretty decisive if you happen to land in that bubble of Rio. So, Riolo could potentially get 40 points here. As he uh, is a very good dirt player, also finishes the fastest time in the warm up. Oof. Almost colliding with the wall there for Tom. But. We do have a close battle here. Kebby is uh, challenging Riolu, but Kebby goes for a little bit of a wonky line here, and that will make him flip around. We do have Tom now on his way to uh, challenge Riolu. Riolu goes for a bug slide and uh, remains in first place so far. So good. He does not get a lot of speed here, so he might land in the crater of uh, Thanos. But he will actually jump over it, collect his 10 points. Tom in second place, Kebby in third, and Aeona in fourth. Where's the in game music? I don't know. It's like non-existent on this map for some reason. It has been yoinked away. Here we go. All right, then. We have uh, Riolu trying to distract his opponents with the Plasto Horn. But once again, he is getting a uh, very good start. Tom in uh, second place, having a close battle with Kebby. 
Oh, Kebby doesn't get a great landing. Same with Tom here. It is only Riolu who uh, clears this jump. And the other three players are stumbling. Let's have a look at the ending for Riolu. He will easily make it. As he clears the crater. Same with Kebby who gets second place. Tom with a nice flip. Aona flips upside down because he landed in the crater. And he will not be able to reach the finish line here, most likely. And nope. Not getting any points here for his efforts. Riolu is steamrolling right now. All the way up to 80 points. As we are in round number three. Oof. Very tight package. Only Riolu is a little bit uh, further ahead. Really want to wait for your gear here. Did Riolu keep his gear? That is the question. Yes, he does. He lands safely in the slope. Aona is also in here. Oh my god, Kebby with a bug slide. He, he even continued the bug slide. Aona going for a bug slide here, which doesn't really help out a lot. But it is a battle between Kebby and Aona. I think Aona will hit the crater. Oh my god, he is going in the crater. But he makes a nice flip and will cross the finish line. Riolu, once again, getting the 10 points. Kebby in second. Aona in third. And Tom in last. All right. Final round on this map. Here we go. Can anyone stop Riolu on this map? Oh, by the looks of it, Riolu has made a small stumble. And Kebby also colliding with the wall. So it is all up to Tom and Aona to deny Riolu the 10 points clean sweep on this round, on this map. We do have Tom not getting a great landing. Riolu gets... Riolu gets a good landing. Oh, whoa! Cabby with an in... Oh, my... <laughs> they both... <laughs> they both hit the crater. But Riolu... <laughs> Riolu flew in the end. And Kebby will get <laughs> will get his 10 points there. So by the looks of it, it is going to be a close battle for that second place. Riolu, however, has gotten himself a very comfortable 30-point advantage as we go into a map that is quite difficult, quite tough, but it should be doable for these players. Warm-up is currently being played. Here we go. Loop-de-loop. -loop. Oh. Riolu, furthest in the warm-up right now. And he will finish the map. So, quick learner Riolu will get first place. Aona gets second in this warm up. And there is only the end for Kebby to learn. 96 points Riolu. Kebby with 66. Equal amount with Tom for third. And Aona with 45 points here in last. So, really, Aona in need of those points. However, we have a uh, somewhat technical track here. Oh! Literally everyone stumbles and Riolu is able to take huge, huge, huge amount of profit from this. And it is almost like Riolu gets it spoon-fed the 10 points right here. 
There he goes. He has one turn remaining. And that is an easy 10 pointer for Riolu. Tom getting second, Kebby in third, and Aona in fourth. There we go. Riolu now crossing the 100 point barrier. Let's have a look at Aona, who is in dire need of these points. As we go into the second round here. Big mistakes by everyone. I think Riolu doesn't have the speed right now. Oh, he does. Everyone actually making it. But I do believe Riolu got a little bit more of the booster before the looping. So he might be able to catch up. No, he makes a mistake. Goes for the 360 no scope. And it is looking really good for Kebby. Who goes for an insane trajectory. Goes for the lower lower quarter pipe jump that is some uh, mad props right there deserved 10 points here he actually went for the for the lower trajectory right here which is really really difficult to uh to pull off but he managed to do so <clears throat> and we have riolo if he gets 10 points here being one point away from uh, from that finalist status. We do have Kebby with good speed. And he collects a lot of booster. Will it be worthy though? No, he gets overtaken by Aona on this part. But Kebby with that interesting trajectory. Can he pull it off once again? He is going for it. Oh, but it's not enough. He stumbles, complete stop pick. It is Tom now in first, who is also in need of the points. Aona in second, and Riolu in third place. So, Riolu now, if he manages to win this next round, will put himself into finalist mode. we go getting a lot of the booster it is not looking like riolu will get a finalist status here oh especially not with this with this route he has to go for the respawn Abby once again goes for it and what a trajectory that is a deserved 10 points right there if i have ever seen one myself that is a 10 points for Kebby. a six points for tom it will be a four-pointer for Aona. And Riolu will get last place here. Mm. So, the gap remains at 30 points almost. And now we're going to the next map. We have full speed. We have some full speed action right here. There we go. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Riolo needs to get a top three placing in this round to get a finalist mode. But Aona with the fastest warm up could do some damage here. He is in desperate need of points here. Currently 61 points himself. As we go into this round, it is Riolu who gets the 10 points. So, he will put himself 
in finalist status. It is up to the other players to deny Riolu the victory. Here we go then. Let's put the eyeball on Riolu. Very tight line. Not the greatest wall exit for Riolu. As Kebby is now in first place. But Riolu goes very tight here. It is looking like Kebby will deny Riolu the victory. Even Tom takes over that second place there. So good job by Tom. Claiming six points. As we go into... Riolu's second finalist attempt. Abby and Tom now both passing the 100 point mark. Once again, it is a very close battle here. Really good speed by Kebby. Goes for an SD in the exit and... Boots! 10 points for Kebby. Kebby now at 119 points. Palm, 107. Where's Aona? Aona is struggling. Oh, that was a really tight exit. Oh, it is looking like Riolu is gonna have it here. Riolu will win it. Because he gets a better exit and it is GG. Riolu wins the very first I'm not a cow competition. Takes home the 50 euros. And we have Kebby reaching finalist status here as well. Moving on to the next track. Here we go. We have Night Lights by Spider X22. With Kebby in finalist mode, Tom with 110, Aona in seven with 75. Here we go. Bum, 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 bum. End of the warm-up. Will this be the end of the grand final already? Will Kebby go home with the 30 euros? By the looks of it, he is in a battle with Tom right now. If Tom manages to deny Kebby, we will go a couple rounds longer. And it is Kebby who collides with the wall. Kebby barely makes his jump. And it is Aona in a third place. Palm getting the 10 points. Kebby with the mistake. Iona collecting his 4 points. So, Palm now. 1 point away from reaching finalist mode. Here we go. Kebby once again with a free attempt at finalist status. But he gets a very terrible landing. On the Rheinstein he goes... Loses all his speed already. And I think we will have a double finalist situation. Occurring right here. Kebby is trying to risk. But Tom is looking to get first place here. Oh my god, Tom makes a mistake. Kebby makes a mistake. <laughs> and it is Tom getting the 10 points. Oh my days. Are you kidding me? We have now... A double finalist situation. Kebby or Tom. Who is gonna get second? Will Aona do some damage here? No. Aona with the mistake. It is going to be between Tom and Kebby. Kebby with a good line. But can he avoid the walls right now? It is looking like he will. And GG. Kebby gets second place. 30 euros 
delivered to his wallet. Palm in third and Aona in fourth, both of them receiving 10 euros. There you have it. GG's.